Was the moon always around? It wasn't just floating there from the start. In fact, the leading theory called the giant impact hypothesis actually says that the moon was born from destruction. This theory says that about 4.5 billion years ago, a Mars-sized object called Thea slammed into early Earth. Now, this impact was massive. Both bodies partially melted and debris from the collision was flung into orbit. Over time, the idea is that that same debris came together to form the moon. But how do we know this? Rocks brought back from the Apollo missions show that the moon's composition is really similar to the Earth's, but not identical. Plus, the moon has hardly any volatiles. These are materials that evaporate easily, like water and light elements, which makes sense if it formed in a violent, giant impact. Additionally, the samples collected have a large concentration of a northosite. This is an igneous rock that floats to the top of magma, indicating that the moon was probably once covered in magma, again characteristic of a giant impact. So given that the moon is similar but not identical to our Earth, we concluded that the moon didn't just appear or get captured into orbit or even form the same way Earth did. It came from chaos, yet it's been quietly shaping life on Earth ever since. To learn more, you can listen to my podcast on my channel.